Hey everyone, it is I, Yoshito Kikago, back in Soma. Ah, much better. So we're gonna go ahead and explore the station and hopefully find something. What's this? Swipe Omni Tool. That's a weird sound. <clears throat> All right, let's go check this one out. Why is it all, like, dark and gloomy? I don't like this. This is like cancer, man. It's all over the place. looks deserted yeah it does it doesn't make any sense data is clearly the best option for survival alrighty then so what is this? I don't even know. <laughs> where the hell did they all go? If Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron. Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe <clears throat> Omicron. The women's and men's bathroom. All right. It's upstairs, along. Okay, I don't know why I placed that there. Move. <laughs> Alright, nothing in there. We're gonna keep our eye out for card keys with uh, numbers on it. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. <clears throat> Carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Master tool. Master's tool safety. Electric, microwave, radiation, and, and battery are hot. Don't look in the middle. Alright. Tech ref. Just tools, non sub. Okay, that's broken. That's broken. That's not an idea. This one is workable. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Lovely weights, clothing. <clears throat> <clears throat> we really don't know if we're gonna find anything useful. Um, you have a lot of toys. Huh. She's kind of freaky. What the hell? You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. <laughs> this is tampons. Damn it. I know we'll get by, but curiosity is the better than me. I need to see what's in here. Cool fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. <laughs> uh, in more red tested machine today is clearly corrupted by uh, Wow. But more importantly, it is assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone has uh, specifically created it for a while to steal. When active, the machine uh, mimics the room and read along with it. At the same point, she can scan and then load up as a simulator inside a digital space. 
<clears throat> the presentation shocked to read and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of the AR capsule. After dissecting the Varium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that while we copy my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar to the construction except for one point. There where my capsule house is flat people constructed from model neographics. The Veronium brain scan lives on. It isn't uh, limited by its content, but the originally brain scan read emerged. The read inside the Veronium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can rebuild a artificial reality capsule and that can hold every living member of Phaethos. Too. I can't figure out how it would uh, work with Rillium, but I can re uh, replicate uh, Wow's scanning technique using the pilot seats that are, are already prepared for a type of electromagnet drums needed. <clears throat> it was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the dis uh, reaction with an high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect Wow has been using the seat to steal scans from us uh, for a while. I guess it explains the mockingbirds. And the wild must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seats and used the base uh, for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly uh, positive reaction from the team, we are now officially started the ARC project. We are now scanned all the people we find and loaned them into the capsule. Then we launched it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something uh, will live on like that. Mark Cern killed himself at the scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it is. Would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how it would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Someone who is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. <clears throat> Richard gave me a set of AI templ uh, templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend of the capsule, Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate the turbines once that makes the weather system so much better and playing at Reed didn't go well. Nice try, uh, new try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna be leaving this room. Ooh, it's a mess in here. Oh, whoa. Oh. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the path <clears throat> a fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die. And continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. 
and it didn't happen. <clears throat> Dear friends, when you read this, I have entered the Ark, and uh, as I have explained, this is accomplished by uh, ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide souls into chewing gum and then placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite hard quickly, causing um, uh, my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know that there's no tragedy to more, for I am victorious. I will advise you all to do the same and join me inside the ark. Sincerely, Mark Shrine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Check the back of it. Alright, nothing. <clears throat> oh, the initial. Interesting. Uh, Marksman Intelligence Analysis. Uh, Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear your success in making the Wau uh, a station-wide present. We trust you, your parents. Uh, what a unique opportunity this uh, is. And that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Jonah Ross is able to steer uh, steer and study the Wau from Alpha without outside interference. In the case of an emergency, you may direct uh, Julian Julia to uh, forcefully eliminate any uh, post in But please, make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The Wau is an important and costly affair. Alright. <clears throat> Oh, there's no light here. Ugh. Move this out of the way. I can heal, but I don't know if it's corrupting me slowly. Okay, that's locked. Whoa. That is creepy. This person's like freaking out. Of course, the reason why I'm checking these is I want to see if there's any numbers in the back of the pages. Oh, I see something there. <clears throat> A seagull. We're all dying anyway. I'm all uh, I'm all in. I put my faith in turn and continuing. That is weird. <clears throat> What the hell? Nope. Nope, do not like this. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> Fuck that room. <clears throat> Yeah, you suppose. Remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Yeah. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. I will in a moment, Catherine. <clears throat> Unable to connect the mainframe, please uh, reset router in the sub level vaults. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? 
happened. Comrade killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, Nazar tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Okay. Let's go check this. <clears throat> First, no. First, no. Canadian. October. Munchie. How did this? What is this? Birth, death. <clears throat> Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. The legacy scan. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Interesting. So I did take the scan, and it... This is my previous self. When the scan happened, I was imported into the machine. Interesting. We've worked everything out. <clears throat> everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're going to keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, <clears throat> you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. That is so true. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting <clears throat> engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Speaking of which, who did that anyways? Who put me in a machine? Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. It's gonna say the same thing, yep. And this is gonna say the same thing, too. Yeah. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better.
Okay, right away, I'm just gonna get these, like, showing. There's gonna be one here, like, not damaged. I don't know which one it would be. Damaged. Bust. Broken. No. All right. Broken, broken. <clears throat> I think I see it. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. I'm going to make a quick glance at everything. All right. The question is where do I... Need to fix that mainframe connection. Yeah, we do. So we have to go down below. Pretty much towards the creature, most likely. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna go down that way, and then we're gonna save it in a few moments. Ooh. Thanks, Dromar. That's a real helpful report. Be <clears throat> quiet. The proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. That sounds like a warning. And we're saving. Okay, so we're going to be quiet. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, that is creepy. Anything I have to do in here? No. That is gross. This is creepy. <clears throat> or are you kidding me? I got in the dead end. Okay. Don't trip on anything. Just keep going straight. No noise. Oh. Unable to connect, please reset router. <clears throat> this 
It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You can go. I'll make noise. Wily. Alright, is this thing, like, come this way? I don't even know, man. <clears throat> I think it's blind, but for the time being, we're gonna stop here. <laughs> that's, that's a cre creepy thing. So we need to activate that. We need to reroute it. But to do so, we need to be there at the time being. So we need to lure the thing away from us, flick it going, then do whatever it is to actually do it. But I'm not going to do this episode now because it's starting to get daylight. And I kind of want to play this in the dark. So until next time, this is Joe Stokey Cargo signing off. Uh, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below. Every little bit helps the channel. But until then, see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>